Drake Interplanetary. All right. This is the Drake Caterpillar, as you can see there. Um, so uh, let's look through this one. Um, this is one of those ships that I am not familiar with yet. Um, it's been in the game for a while. Um, but it's not a ship that I've ever flown, and it's not a ship that I own. Um, this is actually one of those ships where I've been given a loaner for it. Um, this is one of the very rare ships where the pilot is off to one side. Um, and also, um, I forgot to say in my uh, other uh, video about the uh, Banu Defender is that one, you know, you're actually on one side of the ship. But it's, it's such a smaller ship, it doesn't really seem like it. Um, but yeah, you can see um, lots of red here. Um, I think there's different, you know, uh, styles for this ship. Um, some uh, pretty decent guns on it. Um, yeah, but you shouldn't really be fighting in these ships. This is not um, this is not a fighter ship at all. Um, but it does have some decent guns. So um, yeah, this is supposed to be like a modular uh, cargo ship. Um, where you, um, I'm not sure exactly how the modules will work, um, but um, we'll walk through the ship and, and, and try to figure a little bit of that out. Um, but yeah, it's a nice looking ship. I like the, the uh, you know, asymmetric design here. Um, it's a huge, it's, it carries a lot. The Caterpillar carries a lot. Um, um, what's the cargo size? I'll put it up on the screen here. Um, but as you can see, yeah, that's a lot of freaking cargo. Um, and you can see it's enclosed cargo too. Um, one of the things, and I'll show you this ship later, I'll show you the, the whole sea. Um, the whole sea does not carry its cargo enclosed. So it means it can get, um, damaged and, 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 uh, you know, blown off by, um, by people shooting at it. So. Yep, uh, so we'll get out of the, the, the driver's seat here, and the pilot's seat here, and then we'll walk around the ship, and I'll show you a little bit um, about the ship. So I think this is my first Drake ship that I'm actually reviewing here. Um, so I, again, I don't own this ship. I actually, um, I think I got this ship as a loaner for my Banu Merchantman. I'm not 100% sure. So I got the Caterpillar because of my Pioneer. Okay, so Pioneer is a, it's a base building ship. Um, and so they give you a Caterpillar and a Nomad. Um, um, so I'm a, you know, something that might happen actually is one of the modules for this might be that it's a base builder or maybe they just give you this because it's a huge ship, you know, um, <laughs> I have no idea. Um, um, and there's another ship called the, uh, the galaxy, um, that's supposed to be like a smaller base builder, um, but with a module. So, um, I don't know. Uh, you know, I feel like I would have preferred they gave me you know, because Pioneer is a $750 ship, right? Or $850. No. Yeah. It's $850 um, if you buy it with credit and $750 if you buy it with cash. So, um, to me, I feel like it's one of the more expensive ships in the game. And then I get like a Caterpillar and a Nomad, right? And like Nomads are notoriously known for not being that useful of a ship. I mean, they're not useless, but they're not that useful either. Um, and you know, just to give you an example, like for my Banu Merchantman, which is, it's a $650 ship, I think 600 or $650. Um, I got a whole C, I got a Hercules C2 and I got a Defender. I got three ships, whereas a Pioneer is 750, you know, or 850. And I only got a, uh, you know, a, uh, Hammerhead or I'm sorry, a, a Caterpillar and a Nomad. So. You know, I think they could up the, you know, up the uh, the value there a little bit. You know, maybe give me a cutlass or something. I don't know. I mean, 
that doesn't really fit with it. But, you know, give me an Avenger Titan. Uh, give me a, a C2 along with my Caterpillar or something. I don't know. I feel like I should just have one extra thing, maybe. Um, but anyway, let's walk through this ship. All right, so um, this is this is the, the of course the the pilot area. Um, so Drake ships are a little bit more utilitarian. Um, so it's really just like, you know, it looks like people they just they were like, look, make it work, and they <laughs> put it in the ship. You know, um, you know they 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 fabricate their own things, right? It's not like they just cobbled all of this together from parts they found in a, you know, a junkyard. We don't do ladders, so it's not like they just cobbled it together from stuff they found in a junkyard right you know and um so these sh i think these ships operate the tractor beam so the tractor beams how you like load cargo um, move cargo around in cargo ships um but yeah so um you know their aesthetic is more so like look you need a ship that's going to do a job drake's going to get it done you know it's like built for tough you know that that kind of way um except I think Drake ships actually aren't that tough, um, if I'm if I'm thinking correctly. Um, so this is how you know you EVA out the you know the ship. You can go down here, um, and then you can take. Here, let me show you this here. And there you go. You can do one pot at a time. You know you can load one thing at a time, which I think is really cool about the Caterpillar. Um, my biggest issue with the Caterpillar is I just feel like I'm not the biggest fan of the design. I, like, I like, I like, I like asymmetrical ships. I, I like, um, I like the purpose of this ship, but I like, I don't know, maybe a little bougie. Maybe bougie is the word. Um, you know, a little sadity. I don't know what the words are. Um, but I don't like utilitarian um you know I, I the closest i like to utilitarian is um is argo you know and i think argo does it you know a little bit better um, than drake so like you see like with the wires i know it's it's just good cable management but yeah like i don't hate it i don't hate it um i just you know i'd rather drive around in a c2 or something but i it's cool it's a freaking cool ship i'm, I'm not saying it's not cool at all um, and you know all of these they pretty much do the same thing you're just running down to the end here I do like how fast these doors open up though so CIG look at this like I'm running damn near full speed and the doors are almost opening before I can get to them whereas when I'm in an origin ship they op they operate slower that makes no sense it's a luxury ship the doors should open even faster all right um and then this is your last one here so if we uh open that up this is freak this is freaking cool um you know so um i'm, I'm i haven't i want to park one of these on a planet and, and actually um see i'm not sure if you can put vehicles in it or not but i don't see a ramp so um i would guess not but you might be able to i don't know um um and i think this is a turret seat um we'll close this back up um i don't know where the crew quarters are or anything like that. so yeah the this little area is nice um i do like this but yeah let's go back through here see if there you know some crew quarters down here i have no idea if this thing even has crew quarters ah look at that ask and ye shall receive um but yeah this is about what i expected you know just some some basic beds here one two looks like there's two two crew you know a nice little eating place um what do we got here um i think that's a stove yeah that's a stove little sink some little storage is this are these lockers these are not lockers. Um, are there lockers over here? Doesn't look like it. Um, these might end up. Yeah, these say storage. So I think that's where you'll. Those will be your lockers. And 
Um, are those, yeah, and it looks like this is a little shelf up. I'm not 100% sure. Let me see if this is, yeah, it's a little shelf up there. So you might be able to store some stuff up there. Um, and then what do we got in here? We got, uh, oh, elevator. Nice. Because, uh, as you know, we don't do ladders. So, oh, okay. A few places to store some guns or maybe some tools. Um, then we're going back here. Um, hmm. This is one of the older ships, so you're, you're not, you're not going to see, like, this is another ship that needs, like, a gold pass. Um, it was actually out of the game for a while while they were doing some stuff to it. Another turret seat. Um, so it's really cool. I, we do we do stairs we don't do we don't do ladders um but yeah some component areas back here um this might be like a oh see engineer station we talk about that in a different video where you'll be able to like control fires and fix little things like this is really freaking cool like these all might actually end up being operational screens where like each one of these little parts can fail and then you can go to it and fix it or maybe you can overclock it or make it just do something better if you know what you're doing um, I think all of that stuff the engineering gameplay is really gonna take this game to the next level I mean if there's any more levels for it to go um, yeah but I didn't see bathrooms did any of you see bathrooms I don't recall seeing bathrooms. Oh, okay. This is really cool, too. I think this is the tractor beam. Yeah. So this is really freaking cool. Like, um, you'll be able to go go in. Um, see where it says enter remote turret. Oh, this is so freaking cool. Like, one of my favorite things about cargo ships with, with like, remote turret tractor beams is, like, you can just go in. See? And you can just grab the thing and then move it. I don't think it'll let me move anything. Maybe if I went up to one of these. Uh -uh. Will it let me grab something from super far away? I don't think it'll let me grab anything. <laughs> but yeah. Like, ah, this is just fun. This is just fun. So like, you know, you just grab stuff and you can, you know, move it with the tractor beam. You know, um, tells you the range is 150 meters, how, what the force is, what the angle is. Um, this is very much so probably my favorite type of turret outside of like one that can shoot, you know, what shoot shooting is a little bit more basic. Um, but tractor beams are going to be so freaking cool in this game. Um, and they, I mean, they're useful now. I mean, I'm saying they're going to be like, they're not in already. They are. Um, and they're already freaking cool. Um, but yeah, still looking for bathrooms. We don't do ladders. Where's the, where is the bathroom? Nope, nope, it's not that way. That was our long hall that we ran through. Upper hallway. Okay. All right. We got, uh, some engineering stuff. All right. Jump drive. Probably not a bathroom near the jump drive. More engineering stuff. Component housing. We don't do ladders. So where is it? This is really interesting. I don't think there's a bathroom on here. And this is a huge ship. They easily could have put... Like, look. Look. I think this is really freaking cool. I really like this room. But does it need to be this big if you don't have a bathroom? Um, that's just a traditional turret. Again, this area is cool, but... Where are the bathrooms? Where are the bathrooms? I don't think you have. Oh, there it is. I missed it. There it is. There's the bathroom. There's no shower. Oh, wait. There is a shower. Do you have to shower while you're pooping? Yo, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That is a shower, ladies and gentlemen. And that is a pooper. A shower. A pooper. A pooper shower. A shower pooper and you gotta wash your hands while you're sitting on the toilet there's no way this thing has to like go in or something it has to go in it has to like go into the wall no you have to poop wash your hands and shower at the same time you literally will never be clean maybe if you just close it and then you like if you close the lid if you close the lid down right 
hear me out. You close the lid down, then you stand on top of the pooper, and then you shower, and then you can like you can just squeeze in it like you know like crouch down on top of it, and then you shower, and then you can wash your hands too, and then you can use the mirror in there. Yeah, this is this is definitely not functional. There's definitely got to be somebody else, but this is really cool though. This is only like it seems like this is only a two crew ship. I guess you really, I mean, I think it would be three at least, though, right? Like, you would need a person to operate the, the tractor beam. I mean, you could do this all yourself. But I think three would, I think it should have three beds. And there's no reason this can't be two bunk beds. Like, this, you could, you could fit four beds in here easily. Like, this could be two bunk beds, and you have four in here, four beds in here. Um, but this is, again, this is, this is why, like, I don't own drake ships and, and and don't get me wrong this this ship still needs another pass right it still needs to be uh, optimized but no i'm just not it, it's not it's I, I just don't think this ship was made for me like it's not it wasn't made for you know um what i want to do in a ship that's all i'm saying um besides the tractor beam tractor beam's awesome 100 percent 10 thumbs up to tractor beams. I love tractor beams. Um, this lift is also pretty cool. Um, not big enough. Oh, you might be able to put a vehicle on this. Um, you might be able to put a small vehicle on this. Um, but I think that because they have these little railings here, that might keep it from... I think you could put one on, on the back, though. It would be... Nah, it's too... You can get like a buggy on here or something, but that's it. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. I think um, we're not going to go back to the pilot seat because um, we don't do ladders. But what we will do, we'll go back here because we do like to end our videos um, looking out at space, right? We will go to my favorite room in the ship and we will use the tractor beam yeah 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 and we'll exit this one here all right um look at this oh oh look at this oh oh look at this <laughs> but yeah this is the uh the drake caterpillar uh it's pretty cool i you know legitimately think this is one of those ships that um if you're confused about what you want to do with with the game um and you just are like i just want to play right now and um i just want to do something simple get one of these um if you got a little extra money to spend of course this this ship is like i think like 300 and something dollars right so this is not you know your first ship but like um if you're you know you have a little bit of extra, you know, money to spend or, or earn it in game. You know, you don't have to buy it. You don't have to spend any real money on it. But, um, yeah, this is a ship. This is a nice ship to work up to. You can make a lot of money with this ship. Um, lots of cargo you can fit in it. And cargo running is going to really pay some dividends once the game comes out. So, anyway, that's it for this one. See you in the next one. Peace.